let's talk about what we're going to cover today. We're going to talk about installing a Linux collector and then activating that Linux collector in Sumo Logic and then setting up an additional Linux source. So let's get started. I've already downloaded the scripted installer to my Linux server, so let's start that up and let it get prepped. Okay, so we'll accept the condition. Read through the license agreement. Accept that. By default, we'll get installed in slash op slash sumo collector. Now by default, we'll also run as root. Uh, you can change that to another user of your choice. We just recommend that you make sure that that user can access the log files that you want to look at. Now we can also, by default, choose to look at system logs. Uh, this is a normal logs on a Linux server. So we'll accept that. And then uh, it's going to try to connect to the Sumo Logic service over HTTPS. And when it does, it's going to give us an activation code, which we can then uh, clip out and put into the Sumo Logic tool itself. Then name that collector, activate it. You see it is successfully activated. Now we'll see if any data has been taken in. We can see that it is because this created us a default dashboard. And there we see our first data for the new collector. Finally, we're going to add an additional source the Apache logs. Go to add source and then local file and we're going to call it Apache access log and it's category web. Now it's important that we also set the time zone here because sometimes uh, the time zones aren't clearly marked in the logs so we're going to set the UTC just to be careful. Now let's also add the error log and call that web errors and we'll also set the UTC time zone there as well. And there are our new sources. In this video we talked about installing a Linux collector and then activating that Linux collector in Sumo Logic and then we also installed an additional source, an Apache source. 